Milwaukee. We're going to take a live look now from News Chopper 12 this evening. Protesters marching to the Wisconsin Center demanding an end to police brutality and more action from Democratic leaders. 12 News Caroline Reinwald joins us on the ground in Caroline. Some tried to shout that group down as they held a news conference. That's right, and they're still doing it now. Uh, just behind me this way, you can see police there uh, outside of one competing protest group. And then on the other side here in front of Starbucks, in front of Red Arrow Park, is our protest group that we originally came here for. That small group of the bullhorn shouted down these families of those killed by police during their news conference earlier. Where is the justice? Where is our justice? And a coalition to march on the DNC and the Milwaukee Alliance Against Racist and Political Oppression gathered this afternoon. They are demanding Democrats arrest what they call killer cops. They stood side by side with families with loved ones uh, who were lost to police violence. Among them, the family of Joel Acevedo. Milwaukee police officer Michael Mattioli is accused of killing Acevedo using a chokehold during a party at his home during the state shutdown order in April. We want the body cam release. Um, I saw it for myself, as well as my attorney, Mr. Lamar. And um, we said back then it was disturbing, and it is disturbing, but it's going to shed light on what we've been speaking about. People are not clear on our message. People think we are anti-police. We are not. We are anti-police brutality. We want to make sure that that's clear. We want to also make sure that we're anti-willful blindness. Caroline joining us live once again. Now, Caroline, they're marching to the DNC next. What uh, are they hoping for at the end of the day? Well, they say that they want to be heard on a national stage, Toya, and that they also want people to realize these may have been local situations, but it is part of a national problem.